Hey guys and girls, this is Gone Overkill with episode number 2 in the current Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup run with the Yellow Draconian Fire Elementalist of the Humet. Yeah, in the first episode I think the music was a bit low, so I uh, increased the volume a little bit. I hope it's better now. Please let me know in the uh, comments if it's fine like this. Uh, <laughs> those who don't like heavy metal will probably don't like it. But anyways, I think uh, I will torture you one more time. Well, in the first episode we made some nice progress. We stabilized the character. Here he is. And again, he is on D10. D10 is a level that we absolutely have to check out because we did uh, we uh, did actually find the lair entrance already. So it might be oops, it might be worth doing lair first, but I'd like to take a close look, be very careful here and see if I can get a bit further. Because I have a good feeling that this level contains some nice loot for us. So let's kill this Yak Tower. Oh, he's got Cursed Ring of Evasion and a Potion of Degeneration. Perfect equipment, dude. We have to play that very slowly and carefully though. Because this vault... Contains dangerous monsters. We already saw that in the last episode. We don't know how many bees there are still around. Maybe we'll check. Oh. Kill this. Oh, fuck. Retreat. Retreat. Oh, God. Whew. Play slower, Mr. Overkill. There are months. Yeah. And we already have our whip of electrocution almost at uh, at perfect training, which should help a lot. And we still got this plus ten, plus two strength rune uh, trident of Alec. This is a better weapon. This one has plus 2 accuracy plus 6 base damage while this one has plus 1 accuracy but plus 9 base damage. Lot better base damage and the increased range of the of the of the trident. Ah, well, not sure. If I find a spell book that uh, contains lightning spire that would make the, the trident even more worth but I don't want to put so much experience into a uh, into weapon skills. We are still a we are still a caster. Do we want to learn ignite poison? We can no 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 no. We don't have any poison spells. But here is the down staircase. We secured the area around it, so let's take a quick look down here. Check the rooms around. So we get a safe space to retreat to if we need to. Kill all of them. And this guy as well. Fine. Oh, there is a shop. What kind of a shop is this? Armor? Yeah, it's an armor shop. And the only thing interesting for us is this cloak. But I think I'd like to buy it. That's two additional points of protection value. A nice increase to our melee fighting capabilities. Dangerous. So this guy, we have to lure him into the fire. Set him on fire. And now hit him with the Alec Whip, so we get him down. Good. Wow. 
This guy has probably made some noise. So I'll quickly pick up this scroll. And let's now kill this ogre. Uh, just like I expected. Oh, Cyclops. Got this guy. I scream a couple of times. So. Okay, we got the ogre in here. Perfect. Killed the ogre. Nice. That's some pretty safe experience that we get here. Let's get our fighting up to eight. Oh, wait. And continue now with our spells. We need spell casting up to level six. Conjuration level 10. And here is the Cyclops. Let's see. Nah, he shoots us from there. We do some damage. Let's see if we can kill him with a uh, fireball. The Cyclops is severely wounded. We didn't kill him yet. Let's try it again. No. Kill this guy. We have got one more fireball ready for the Cyclops. Ah, he's still alive. Should be able to kill this guy rather easily. Yeah. Fireball. And we killed the Cyclops. Perfect. Getting a bit hungry, so let's eat some sheep meat and regenerate our power points down here. Okay, we have secured the area around these stairs. So let's go back up. That was just a nice bit of experience to take. And I think that's always a good strategy to secure the area around the stairs. Okay, come on. Got him. Couple of orcs here. This yak could be a summon. Who might have summoned a yak here? That's definitely summons. But I can't see the summoner. Ah, that's too uh, dangerous. Let's retreat towards the stairs, see if someone follows us. Yeah. Is it just this one guy? So I don't want to get further in that direction. As we know that the summoner is still around here. Retreat. Now go in this direction first. Got an upstairs here. Let's see where that brings us. Or let's try to kill the Cyclops first, which is out of range. Oh, okay. He does too much damage. Yeah, two hits for the Cyclops. Almost two thirds of our HP gone. One more try. Down here. Ah, it's this vault layout. There are four of these chambers and each of them contains one piece of loot. Let's try this ring. The Ring of Wizardry greatly increases our chances to successfully cast spells. 
Also, we found an amulet of harm, meanwhile, that we want to drop. Yes, the Cyclops again. If we can get close to the Cyclops, now we can kill him. In melee, he's by far not as dangerous as in range. Let's equip our uh, enchant our whip even further. Okay, we have got an ogre from the one side and an ant from the other side. Let's start with the ogre. And now kill the ant. Comes a frog from the northern part. I don't want a crimson imp right behind me. But he had a potion of haste, nice. Okay, let's now. It's not the vault layout I thought it was. Oh, here is the second chamber. No loot in here, though. Probably one of the chambers is just broken. That's a modification of the of the vault. And this one contains food. Okay, not perfect loot, but uh, I think we successfully killed all the monsters in there. Amnesia. These guys definitely have to walk through fire if they want to fight us. And just kill them with flame tongue from a distance. Nice. Uh, no good weapons. But we have got another group of bees. Luckily they die quickly, they are hard to hit, but once you get damage on them, they cannot take a lot. So crowd control, conjure flame is very helpful. And we're done with this level. Any good loot that I missed? No. So we're done with uh, dungeon level 10. Let's see if we can also do dungeon level 11. We've got 14 points of protection. We have got uh, 100 HP. We are not that bad. I want to know where the staircase ends. We could need that for, uh, for the orb run later. Let me kill them and rather small groups. Force Lance is another spell that we don't want to learn. Nah, we don't need that. Another Cyclops. And again, we want to get into melee with him. Uh, for a caster, our character is actually a pretty good uh, melee fighter. At least for this phase of the game. There will come a time when the whip is just not strong enough anymore to get through the enemy's armor. But for quite a while we should be doing well with it. Another group of bees. Just three this time. Now all these groups are easier to handle with a fire elementalist because of the great amount of crowd control that uh, that you start with. Against these orcs, it's always a good idea to finish off the casters first. And D11 done. Once again, no loot that we need. 
But we found two scrolls of identify. Let's check the potions. Magic. Heal wounds, heal wounds, four heal wounds potions. That's very good. We also get twice enchant armor and I'll use one of them right now to enchant our cloak to the maximum. Two Orc Priests, they can smite a lot of damage in one turn, but we can do a lot of damage to both of them in one turn too. We want to kill this guy from the distance if we can. What weapon does he have? Plus three Battle Axe of Venom, oh that's a deadly weapon. At this level we have to be really careful already because that's that's D12 that can spawn really strong monsters. So again, the plan is to play slowly. I think we will now also use our scrolls on... Uh, of identify on other scrolls. It's a flaming trident, we don't need that. Okay. She can banish us, can she? Yeah. Retreat. And uh, no means, by no means we want to fight her. Because we are not strong enough to survive being banished to the abyss. That would mean almost sure death. If that happened now. Another guy that we want to fight in melee, the gargoyle. Let's take a short look down here. We can fight all of them. But I prefer not to fight them in a f unfair fight versus one but rather though like this let's get fighting up to 10 get another point into dodging and increase our spell casting to 8 conjuration to 11 I think that's fine like that the scream monkey screams howls so, let's wait a couple of turns and see if more monsters appear. Yeah. There's another up staircase. I don't want to go too far into any direction because we need a safe route back to the stairs. already d13 that's a very dangerous level for a character at the b more or less at the beginning of his adventures this is pretty abandoned d13 so far where are the monsters found all the upstairs don't want to scout this building yet Ogre should be no problem. Another potion, cool. So, should be fine for now. We have a very safe down staircase here. And we can get to melee with the Cyclops without him waking up. Okay, this guy is one that I'd rather fight under unfair conditions. So let's do it like this. The Conjure Flame is a very strong spell early in the game. 
Okay, we've got this little room here. Check what's in there. Nothing. Manticore. It's hard to outrun a Manticore because he can catch us with his barbs, so I rather try to go into melee range with him too. So we can at, use, at least use our whip. Irradiate? Do we want irradiate? Uh, no, I don't think so. I never really tried this spell out. Sometimes it's worth trying the spells. My last fire elementalist that I won with made heavy use of uh, of the Ring of Flame spell, which I kind of never tried earlier, and it was extremely helpful, extremely useful. Up here we have an enchanted sling. Let's tr check if that's good. Plus three hunting sling, nice. Wait, uh, it's O at the moment. Let's put, put that on B. This little vault should be easy to clear with fireball. The last pick is down as well. Okay, what do we do with them? Retreat. I don't want to fight a slime monster in this big dangerous form. Maurice, can we get to melee? Yes, now we cannot get invisible anymore. And we should be able to kill him easily. Yeah, got him. Dodging up to level 5. Sadly, he doesn't have anything useful. There's nothing left that we want to enchant. That's just all. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. retreat. I want to get to this field where I can block the way effectively with uh, with fire. Oh no, that's not good. This guy got the fire form. Let us use ice blast against him. Continue to ice blast him. I hope we can get him down like this. That's the one form that we don't want to fight because our fire spells don't help at all. Okay, here we're going up to El... to Erocha again. We still do not want to fight, so let's check the remaining... Dungeon level first. I will just kite them and kill them with a with the fire damage. I 
and they're down, good. So that's d12, which means I think it's time to go to lair now. We are not yet poison resistance, which is a bit of a danger. Let's try the scrolls of which we have, oh god, ah, that's just the rest. Magic mapping, good, go to lair. And we directly killed our first Komodo dragon and learned not to take him lightly. He did a lot of damage. Same with these spiny frogs. But we got a wand of clouds. That's pretty good. And I'd like... Maybe that makes it even worth putting some more points into evocation. Let's do that. Now generally, I'm not that afraid of the first five levels of the lair. But I think lair six could be really, really tough without poison resistance. Can feature a whole vo vault full of poisonous creatures. So, we have to kill this guy. Let's try to do that with fireball through these... He, they cannot attack us as long as these flames are alive in front of them. So, I'll try... To just kill them through the flames. Ah, uh, fuck. What was that? Got him, good. this guy as well it's almost good thing is that uh, with uh, with the humid range we are able to reach them from a distance got them got we can uh, fight uh, shoot our fireball to maximum line of sight which is pretty cool Plus five intelligence ring, not bad. Plus five strength. Huh, I think... Hmm. I stay with protection for now, but both of them might be the better choice. Depending on the situation. And down to the next level. What do we have here? Flight. Back to protection. And we don't need the flight ring. The second ring of magical power. I think we've got enough at the moment, but depending on if we, if we learn a better spell at one point, then uh, we might want to use, go for maximum uh, mana points. This guy can poison us heavily, so I just kited him. Kill the spiny for quickly. Okay, that doesn't look so good. Let's try to get out of here. And just kite a bit. Oh, we're too hungry. Eat. Got, got back to a safe space. And regenerated, nice. Ah. I think it was a good idea to not uh, 
not take the fight there because it was many different dangerous high damage opponents around us. Gastronok. Can we kill Gastronok? Probably if we lure him into the fire. So, with 74, I think we should be safe. And uh, Yeah, got him. What kind of head did he have? A head of intelligence. That's nice. We take that. Drop the old head and enchant it to the maximum. It was too fast. Just ran past our fire trap. Okay, snapping turtle does damage. Try. Fuck. Retreat. Can we kill it from a distance now? We got the snapping turtle. Excellent. Uh, this guy also does massive damage and it makes sense to uh, fight carefully. What do we have here? Cancellation, always good to have. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. The six headed Hydra. Kill it and go go back out. Okay, we got the six-headed Hydra. I will not go down the stairs, same staircase again, because there's still the Black Mamba. That's the Black Mamba. Nobody of them dropped any kind of food. So sad. What I see up there though is a spell book. And that's interesting. We are still working with our starting spell book. And at one point, definitely have to improve our firepower a bit. Also the magical part of the firepower. So let's see what this spell box contains throw icicles some of these oh, that's the standard frost spell book we have still got the manual of ice so it might be worth going into ice magic but which of these spells would be most useful I think I won't throw icicle for monsters that are immune to fire let's learn throw icicle Put that on B. And get ice magic up to also up to eight. That should go quickly. Two black mambas. Uh, played that a bit too quickly, but luckily we got to the safe position. If we can control the fighting environment, then the mamba is not a problem. But two of them at once can become a serious threat. Ah, this is the entrance to the snake pit. That's the reason for all these dangerous snakes gathering there. Potion of Brilliance. Mm, 
But what you see is that this uh, hybrid combination is actually pretty tough. We do a lot of damage in melee, especially since we found a very good weapon. And also our spells do good work. Airstrike is an excellent spell. I want to learn that. Because mm, it's a smite targeted spell. Do that. Oops, my bad. Uh, put that one on F2, I think. A smite target as well, which is good. And also it is very effective against flying enemies. Which is another big advantage. I think we'll learn a bit of air magic once we are done with our current spell spell list so maximum enchantment for our for our whip plus nine whip of Alec what a nice weapon for the uh, early and mid game Again, the same issue with the uh, with the uh, with the music. Oh well, can't change it, I guess. I have to change it. Wait. So, Judas Priest would have been fine, but uh, well. Don't want copyright issues. We still got a bit of a uh, few left in our ice spell book, so let's get that up to 10. Tricycle is at 1% failure already. Let's keep in mind that we have it. We can. Because it is uh, a lot more damage uh, ranged spell than our flame tongue, so it's actually worth. See, we can kill these guys from a distance, they don't even reach us. And that means, let us now use the second ring of magical power instead of the ring of protection. Giving us 43 mana points. Uh, that's generally the aim that you have with the caster. You don't want the enemies to even reach melee range. Found another identify scroll. Let's identify the scrolls. Vulnerability, don't need that. Noise, don't need that either. The icicle is a really powerful spell with some spell power and uh, ice magic. Okay, what do we have here? A troll fighter. Don't want to fight the troll fighter, especially since there are also bogarts in there. That's a bit too dangerous for me at the moment. So let's just go down to the next side. Of course there's the scroll of summoning in there, which can be a very, very helpful tool. But doesn't help us when we're dead. Retreat, I think. Rupert can berserk and do an almost infinite amount of damage. It's super tough, unique. But we should be able to kite him behind these stairs, uh, between these stairs, probably. Still can get ice magic some higher. Let's go to 11. Same time, also get a bit more dodging. Try 
Torment, we don't need either. There he comes. Uh, let's go down here, see if we can do some damage to him with our icicles. We're paralyzed, fuck. He gets to berserk mode. But we kill him. We will kill him now. He cannot one-shot us and we should be able to one-shot him. Nice. Uh, that's a situation really uh, dangerous. See here, uh, plus two great sort of electrocution. That's a absolutely super deadly weapon. So I used our uh, our valuable wand of clouds. He's one of the castings from the, from the cloud wand. So we got him into the into the fire of the clouds. This guy is. Pretty tough as well. We have to take care that we don't stand in this cloud for for a second longer than necessary because uh, it uh, petrifies us. Now we have got a uh, death yak right next to us. Can we kill it directly? Yeah, we can. Good. Uh, the icicle sticky flame combo is very very effective yeah uh, these sleep sheep are actually pretty dangerous but uh just in combination with other monsters who do the damage while the character is sleeping. Ice magic up to 12. Fighting up to 11. That's really good that we have such high mana. Passage of Galubria, Passwall is a spell that we might want to learn. Not yet though. Nothing we need on this level. So let's go down now. Okay, the Basilisk again. We are hit by there. Okay, that's the risk of the Basilisk. He can also put us out of action. Then these guys appear. Also a chance to cast Airstrike. Relatively high, but uh, I think with our other spells we have more damage. Stay careful here. That's the bottom level of the lair. The most dangerous one. Yeah. And apparently it is uh, one of these very poisonous bottom levels I told you of with snakes everywhere. Guardian Serpent is dangerous. Slowed us down. Luckily, we killed it. Whew. Everybody we meet here is very poisonous. Still can get our ice magic higher. Let's do that. It is possible that we will transition into a 
full blown frost mage in the long term. Uh, range duel with this guy who killed himself with the reflection. Bolt of cold, excellent. That's really good, especially since we trained our ice magic so high. Let's quickly kill these guys. I learned the Bolt of Cold. A level 6 Bolt spell Conjuration and Ice. We already can cast it at 2% failure rate, which is super good. I can't see us using Flame Tongue anymore, so let's put put it on, on 1. The Bolt spells are really, really great because they can hit multiple animals at once. Five Hadrid Hydra. I think we should be able to kill him. Fuck. Okay, I misplayed that. To get rid of this guy for now. You see, uh, even just a five-headed Hydra, if you don't play it correctly, can get really dangerous. Ice magic up to 14. Really beelining up the ice tree. That's our cold bolt. Nice. Very good spell. Wow, we got heavily poisoned by this spiny frog. We don't want these guys to reach melee range, so we both have called them. It's funny that we got the the poison ending right when I was talking about it. Okay, is this just one death yak or is it multiple? I think it's just one. One death yak should not be too dangerous for us. The rest is just ordinary yaks. Oh, there comes another death yak though. And now we've got two death yaks right next to us. Got the first one down. And our manual of ice magic finally is gone. Let's get our spell casting up to 10 now. And I want another point in fighting. Oh, we got hit by the yak once. But we got it. Perfect. Okay, okay. She can piculate us, transmute us into a pick, which is very dangerous, so let us use the bow. Okay, we are piculated. Retreat. At least picks are pretty quick, so. And she gets, and we killed her with a sticky flame, perfect. Now the remaining picks were turned back into humans.
Ja, nur Ice Firepower ist really strong. I really like that feeling. Pretty secure with that. We can kill many enemies before they have the chance to reach us. Especially against uh, ice sus uh, suspectable enemies like this uh, Hellhound. Why do they even fight us? Against these guys, we rather use fire. Oh fuck, that was a lot of damage. Oh no! That's potentially deadly. We have to get out of here. Right now. At this low HP against an electric enemy, that's like... Pretty close to suicide. Whew, that was close. First pretty big misplay in this episode. Ice form? I don't know if we want ice form, I don't think I'd rather not. There's another death yak, this time together with some elephants. I want the elephant on this square, yeah. There we can easily kill him. Ah, uh, again Judas Priest, what the heck? We play the rest of the episode without music, but we won't, won't do very much anymore. We will just finish this little level, I think, and then we're done with with Lea. Sticky flame in combination with the icicle makes short work of the of the elephants and I think that's also a good combination against the death yak. Yes, it is. Oh, that's a whole band of death yaks this time. Luckily we have uh, the environment on our side. Okay, again retreat. I don't want to fight the electric guy, together with the rest of these enemies. Oh, and I retreated into unscouted territory. Not so good. Let's rather stay down here. I don't want this guy to mess around with us. Luckily, the former pick that we helped earlier safe, uh, helped us in this fight. Intelligence, we put all our increases on intelligence. Mr. Overkill. 
Don't get into a bad situation. The ice bolt is perfect for, for this. Do we want Uzubuku's refrigeration? I never used that spell either, so I think I'd rather not start with it now. No need for experimentation. Let's put fighting again, one more up. Let's get spell casting to 11. And let's get one more on ice magic because I'd like to get into the really high level ice spells at one point. these guys yeah got them uh, the fire and ice combination is good because there are very few enemies which are resistant to both fire and ice ah, the mamba Damn. But we are almost done with this level. And it looks like we are now done. This lamp of fire is another item I want to pick up. Apart from that, let's go back up to the dungeon. And ladies and gentlemen, we are now done with Lair. Let's take another look at our character. We are pretty good in the physical department, 6 points on dodging, 12 points maces flails, 12 points fighting. Our magical skills are also okay with 10 spell casting, 11 conjuration, bit of fire magic and really good in ice magic. We've got some evocation, that looks pretty fine altogether. Our equipment, well we don't have gloves or boots yet and we did not train shields until this point either. I kind of want to do that. Our resistances are pretty poor, but the strong thing about this character is uh, this nice supply of very effective spells, cold spells, fire spells, and an air spell, together with his strong plus nine whip of electrocution and the very, very high magic uh, uh, mana pool. Well, I think we are well prepared now for the next episode in which we will try to reach the bottom level of the dungeon. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope to see all again for the next episode, probably tomorrow. Until then, bye everybody.